Hey everybody, I live in Brooklyn, but I just metroed one hour in to the center of Manhattan to try out this $7 Asian haircut in Chinatown. That's right, $7 plus tip for an Asian haircut, and I just got it. Um, so it looks pretty good. Uh, they were pretty detailed in the cut. The place, once again, is called JMA, JNM Hair Salon. Uh, that's what it's called. And honestly, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, for nine dollars total including tip wasn't a bad haircut I've gotten much worse haircuts for twenty dollars and so I think they took their time uh, Friday evening was a great time to go there was no line and uh, they I think they, they didn't give the most attention but they didn't give the least either it was a solid middle ground uh, they took a lot more time in the back um, like I showed them the picture of the type of haircut I wanted and immediately they, like in half a second he was just like yeah and like, uh, I was a bit like put off for a second. I was like, don't you need more info or anything in my head? But then uh, he started the haircut and uh, he spent a lot of time like tailoring the back, like probably almost twice as long as I it usually takes. I think he was really getting the details. And then he cut the front and it was good to go. New York City doesn't have to be expensive. I mean, well, let's not talk about rent, but uh, in terms of, Haircuts and food, I mean, it doesn't have to be. Like, people say food, but literally, this is the center of Manhattan in Chinatown. And literally, I'm actually going there now. Within a, one and a half blocks from here is a place called Wa Feng, and you can get a giant plate of barbecued chicken, uh, pork, and duck with rice and vegetables soaked in the best sauce from all of that for $7. I've gone there like five times. There's usually a massive line because it's so popular. So for me at least, I think there's definitely some spots that are very budget friendly. Now, of course, you're gonna eat wafung every day? No, and that's where, yeah, it starts to climb in price a little bit if you wanna spice it up, but. Do you have no pork juice? Pork juice no line, but uh, they were uh, kind of out of most things. I think they only got chicken left. I'll take it though. All right, here I am. I got my wafung. Uh, they were out of everything except chicken and rice. They didn't have any vegetables left. Uh, they said, you want the small or large? Seems like he was pushing me for the small because they were out, but I asked for the large anyways. Uh, seems like that guy, I think the guy before me was like, oh, I've been here since I was a kid. It used to be only $3. And he was like talking to the guy working there, the chef, and he was like, yeah, I've been working here 20 years. Yeah, it used to be $3. Uh, I guess that's inflation for you. Uh, or just good business. Uh, but yeah, this I'm literally like right across the street from Wafeng. Wafeng is right over there. You walk across the street. You're in this little park area, playground block. And I'll tell you, this is the first time it's ever been lit up that I've seen it. And it's a Friday evening, like, and no one's out. I guess it's because it's getting cold, but I guess that's what happens. Uh, I am once again amazed how deserted New York City can be. I guess when it gets cold, it gets cold even in a place where supposedly a million plus people live. But I'm having a blast here, just sitting here. Um, once again, got that budget haircut, get, got this budget meal. This is how big it is. Let me open it up just to, sh just to give you a sense what you can get for seven bucks. Look at that thing, that's like, that's like two of these palms. Okay, one and a half of these palms of just straight up food. I mean, can't get any better than Wafung in Manhattan budget.